Kumusta? Magandang araw. Ako si Raymond. Hello everyone. Good day. I'm Raymond and welcome to my channel. Our lesson for today is all about the Tagalog affix tag or taga. Let us have the Tagalog prefix tag which is a season. Tag. So we can see here on the screen. So we can see here on our table we have the root word the meaning, the root plus the affix, and the new meaning. We have here the first one, ulan. When we say ulan, that means rain or is related to raining. And then the root word plus the affix, tag, tag ulan, that means the rainy season. The next word is init. When we say init, that means heat. So the root word plus the affix, tag, so that becomes tag init. It means the hot season or the summer season. The next word is araw, that is also day in Tagalog, but it also means the sun, araw. So when you add a prefix tag, it becomes tag araw, that means the summer season, tag araw. The next one is lamig, when we say lamig, that means cold or the coldness. So when we say taglamig, that means the cold season or the winter season. Tagulan, taginit, tagaraw, taglamig. The next Tagalog affix is taga, which means a native or resident of and is also a doer of an action. So let us have the following examples. Of course, when we say New York, that's a place in the United States, New York. So when, when we add the affix taga, so when you say taga New York, that means a New Yorker or a person or a native of New York or a resident of New York. So when we say provincia, that means province or countryside. So when you add the affix taga, taga provincia, so that means a country dweller or someone from the countryside, taga provincia. With the, the root word laba, that means to wash clothes. When you add the word tagalaba, that means someone who washes clothes. Tagalaba, taga New York, taga probinsya. Let us have more examples for the affix taga. So when we say Iloilo, of course, that is a province here in the Philippines. So when you add the word or the affix taga, taga Iloilo, that would mean... When you add the Tagalog affix taga to the word Iloilo, that would be taga Iloilo. And that would mean that is a person who lives in Iloilo. So we have another one. So of course, Seattle is a city in Washington State. So if you add the Tagalog affix taga Seattle, that means a person who lives in Seattle. The next one is Spokane, that is also a city in Washington State. So when you add the Tagalog affix taga to the uh, city name uh, Spokane, that would be taga Spokane. So a person who lives in Spokane. So the next one is Davao, is of course also one of the provinces here in the Philippines. So taga Davao, that means a person who lives in Davao. So you can say Taga Davao si Rodrigo. So that means Rodrigo is from Davao or lives in Davao. Cebu is also a province in the Philippines. So Taga Cebu, that means a person who lives in Cebu. So the next one is Talungunan. So that is a barangay in Iloilo, Pasi City, Iloilo. So like when I say Taga Talungunan ako, that means a person who lives in Talungunan. Taga Talungunan ako, that means I'm from Talungunan. Other examples, we have the root word luto. When we say luto, that's cook or is related to cooking. So when you say tagaluto, tagaluto, that means someone who is tasked to cook. Tagaluto. The next root word is sulat. When you say sulat, that means to write or is related to writing. So when you say tagasulat, that means someone who is tasked to write. Tagasulat. The next one is igib. To igib means to fetch water. So a taga igib is someone who is tasked to fetch water, maybe from a deep well or a pozo. Okay, so taga igib. Maneho, when we say maneho, that means drive or to drive or is related to driving. So when you say taga maneho, that is someone who is tasked to drive or a driver. When we say wasto, that means to check, wasto. So taga wasto, that is someone who is tasked to check, taga wasto. When we say ayos, that means to fix or is related to fixing. So when the word taga ayos, that means someone who is tasked 
to fix. Taga luto, taga sulat, taga igib, taga maneho, taga wasto, taga ayos. So let us use them in a meaningful sentence. When we say, taga saan si Pedro? Taga saan si Pedro? So that means, from where is Pedro? From where or from what place is Pedro? Taga saan si Pedro? So to answer this, you can like say si Pedro ay taga Davao or taga Davao si Pedro. That means Pedro is from Davao. Or you can also say ako po ay taga Iloilo or taga Iloilo po ako. So that means I'm from Iloilo. Taga saan po sila? That means from where are you? Taga saan po sila? To answer this, you can like say sila ay taga Cebu or taga Cebu sila. That means they are from Cebu. Or another answer is kami po ay taga Quezon or taga Quezon po kami. So that means we are from Quezon. Tagaluto si Maria ng almusal. Tagaluto si Maria ng almusal. Or si Maria ang tagaluto ng almusal. So that means Maria is the one who cooks breakfast. When we say almusal, that's breakfast. And luto is to cook or is related to cooking. Tagasulat ako ng sinasabi ng Pangulo. Tagasulat ako ng sinasabi ng Pangulo or ako ang tagasulat ng sinasabi ng Pangulo. So, Pangulo is the president and sabi is like say. So, I'm tasked to write what the president says. Tagamaneho ako ng sasakyan nila or ako ang tagamaneho ng kanilang sasakyan. So, that means I am the one or I'm the one who drives their car. Tagaluto si Maria ng almusal. Si Maria ang tagaluto ng almusal. Tagasulat ako ng sinasabi ng Pangulo. Ako ang tagasulat ng sinabi ng Pangulo. Tagamaneho ako ng sasakyan nila. Ako ang tagamaneho ng kanilang sasakyan. Tagaayos ako ng mga sirang cellphone or ako ang tagaayos ng mga sirang cellphone. So a cellphone is a cellphone. When we say sira, that's like broken. So I'm the one who repairs broken cell phones. Tagaayos ako ng mga sirang cellphone. Tagawasto ako ng aming pagsusulit or ako ang tagawasto ng aming pagsusulit. So that means in English, I am tasked to check our examination. So pagsusulit is like an exam, examination. Tagalaba ako ng damit ni Cassie or ako ang tagalaba ng damit ni Cassie. So that means I'm the one who washes Cassie's clothes. Tagaayos ako ng mga sirang cellphone. Ako ang tagaayos ng mga sirang cellphone. Tagawasto ako ng aming pagsusulit. Ako ang tagawasto ng aming pagsusulit. Tagalaba ako ng damit ni Cassie. Ako ang tagalaba ng damit ni Cassie. That's all for our lesson which is about the Tagalog affix tag or taga. If you learned something new from this video, please don't forget to click like or subscribe. Moreover, you might also want to watch the next video on the screen. Maraming salamat, paalam at ingat. Thank you very much. Goodbye and take care.